What's up guys, Ken here with the Shop Mini RC. Welcome back. We're checking out this uh, overdrive transmission we picked up from AliExpress. We actually got two of them. Uh, they look like a killer deal. And so we wanted to pick one up, look at it. Uh, overdrive in the transmission is pretty cool or underdrive, however you want to look at it in the rear. Uh, basically it allows your front tires and wheels to spin just slightly faster than the rear. And this helps with grip uh, when you're when you're going uphill. And it also helps with your turn radius because your front tires are gonna pull you a little bit more. So. A lot of times people will do overdrives or underdrives in the axle shafts, you know, with the ring and pinion or the worm gear. Uh, but this guy here will do it straight from the transmission. So the output shafts actually spin at different speeds. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you. So you can see here, there's two different gears and they spin at different rates. I don't know if you can tell, but the one on the uh, left here spins just ever so slightly faster. So that's really cool. One of the things you have to be careful with is the direction you mount it. You got to make sure it's mounting the correct direction. Otherwise you overdrive your rears and that's not necessarily what you want. Now there are other transmissions out there that are overdrive just like this. There's a hot racing transmission, uh, but that transmission is not a complete transmission. It doesn't go with the spur, it doesn't go with the outer case. And it is like $55. Okay. And it's hot racing quality products, right? But it's 55 bucks. This little guy is $16 and 84 cents. It is AliExpress, So you do have to wait a little bit, but the shipping time on this was not bad. I think it only took like three weeks. So it wasn't, it wasn't too bad at all, maybe four weeks. Um, but that's why we order multiple and, you know, save on shipping. Not that shipping is much. I think shipping was like five bucks. A few moments later. Yeah, actually there was no shipping. Uh, just some tax, $2 in tax. So for two of them, it was $36 and 53 cents to my door. And it took, it looks like the, uh, yeah, three and a half weeks. Um, anyway, the hot racing one's 55 bucks. This one is 16 bucks. Uh, there's some interesting stuff about it. It's got a slipper clutch. Um, which can be good or bad, depending on how you're trying to set things up. We used a slipper clutch transmission in one of our monster trucks, which is a good place for a slipper clutch um, to be loose enough to, you know, not break drive shafts and stuff. It'll slip inside the spur. And I'll show you that here when we open this up. Um, and that's the Benedict Harry transmission. And we snagged that up on Amazon. Um, I think we have two of those because we, we broke one of them. <laughs> we, we totally, it was our fault. We, we were trying to modify it to fit a motor that shouldn't have fit. And we kind of got it to work, but then we chewed up the spur gear because we just didn't have things set right. So anyway, we ordered a second one. And uh, that transmission is like $22 on Amazon, free shipping to your door. So this is cheaper than that. And it's overdrive and slipper clutch. And, you know, <laughs> we've got one of these already in, an, in another build. And uh, it seems fantastic. When we, here, we'll, we'll open it up. So one thing about these overdrive transmissions, uh, at least these ones from Ollie, they have slipper clutches in them. We've talked about this in other videos, but it's basically a little plate, like a kind of like a, a clutch or a brake, and it lets this spin freely. But it, when you're tied up against it, you still get enough grip. But it also means that if you end up binding or you know your drive, your motor's trying to spin it, but your uh, drive shafts are not spinning because your tires are stuck in a rock, this will actually spin, right? So it won't chip a tooth or break a drive shaft. The thing is, you've got to be very careful in how you tune this thing, how tight you make it and how loose you make it. Now you can just crank it all the way down, make it super tight. And it's basically like gluing a servo saver, right? Um, it just won't go anywhere. But if you back it off just a little bit, you give yourself just a little bit of slip. See that? I'm holding this, it's not spinning, but I can just, if I turn it, well, it's still a little tight, but there you go. Just kind of slipped a little, let's loosen it just a little bit more. There you go. Now it's too loose, which means it's basically just gonna spin when I throttle it. And it's a very fine line. So with these, especially in crawlers, um, they're so small and usually you don't need um, the slipper anyway. So I just prefer to tighten them, have them a little more tight than a little too loose. Cause if they're too loose, it's a pain. You gotta open it all back up, tighten it down again. Um, and if they're too tight, it's just like every other SCX transmission. It's just a solid drive. But if you can get it tuned in there just right, you do give yourself just a little bit of protection. Now we gotta take this off because we gotta switch our plate, but I did wanna show you that. Also make sure when you put it back on, because this pinion or this uh, spur gear doesn't actually attach to the, uh, doesn't like have a slot in it to attach to the shaft. If you're not centered, you can have wobble if it's not if your tolerances aren't tight enough the this one feels like it's pretty tight so i feel like it's going to be centered you just don't want your uh spur to be spinning and doing this because it's slightly off you know 
when you tighten it down. So just make sure you're straight when you do it. Yeah, that's a rear clutch plate and then our two screws to pull off our motor mount plate. We'll be back when this is together. Now, one thing I do want to point out about this kind of transmission, if you are trying to reverse mount your motor, basically having your motor forward mounted, that means you're turning your transmission. And if the transmission is set to overdrive the front, now you're going to be overdriving the rear. So if you do plan on mounting this forward mount, you'll need to make sure you can get in here and swap the gears from this side to this side. You'll have to move this main gear over and then there's gears inside here. Let's see if I can open this up real quick. And those are also different sized. Those two little gears in there are different sized. So you need to see if you can swap them. Now, I don't even know if you can. Um, this shaft here looks like it's affixed to one of the gears. So you may not be able to. So just be aware if your plan is to run reverse mounted motor, overdrive transmission may not be ideal because you don't want to have your rear going faster than your fronts, essentially. That will not help you in crawling at all. Also, overdrive gears in the front, uh, having your front wheels spin a little bit faster than the rear, it helps your turn radius. Just a note. All right, we're going to get this back together. All right, we got this guy in there. We went ahead and peeled off most of the sticker. Left this front piece on because that's what it'll show. Uh, I don't know if you'll really be able to see it, but whatever. We wanted to leave it there. Uh, but we peeled everything else off because when the motors get hot, that kind of keeps the heat in. So some say if you pull that off, it'll uh, help extend the life of your motor. We've got our mesh pretty good here. You can see it's just got a little bit of play. But everything moves nice and smooth. All right. But you do want that little bit of play, just a little bit. So here's the finished build. We use that little guy in. We changed the front case because we had extra to get the red in there because I wanted some red accent. Um, but yeah, it's been awesome. It gives us a little bit of overdrive in the front. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really digging it. Just got to make sure you adjust the slipper plate correctly. You know, especially in a crawler, you don't want it to, you really don't want it to slip too much at all. You know, depending on how strong your motor is, um, you could probably just tighten it all the way down. Not a big deal. Um, you can check out a video on this guy right over here. Uh, this is the Dinky RC 3D print. Uh, it's super quality, freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, we're loving it. The video is pretty cool. But I think the value on this guy is outrageous. It's just, uh, you know, $16, $17. It's probably one of the cheapest transmissions out there. And it's got overdrive and slipper clutch. And it's it's been working great in the Dinky rig. And you got we well, got these big old tires on there. And we're getting stuck in rocks and whatnot. And... You know, it, it hasn't broke, it hasn't stripped anything. You know, I don't even, I, I'll be honest, we tightened it down pretty tight, so I don't think the slipper clutch is really engaging on this. But again, that's totally fine, right? You, don't, you have the option. So if we want to throw this in a monster truck build, the transmission, you could adjust that slipper clutch so that you don't, you know, break stuff. Um, although you probably wouldn't run overdrive in a monster truck. So there is that. But again, depending on how tunable you want your rig to be, this is awesome. Everything in this guy moves super smooth. All the bearings seem good. They're greased up just a little bit. And I don't know, just seems like a really, really good transmission. It's a metal spur, you know, um, no plastic on this at all. Pretty awesome. Anyway, we'll link to this in the description to Ali so you can easily find it. I feel like every time I go searching for it, I can't find it. So I have to look at my previous orders. Uh, so we'll definitely link to that so you can find it. And uh, yeah, hope this video gave you some insight. Um, maybe you guys can check one of these out and uh, put in the comments below if you've used them, if you like them or not. They're called Axe, Axe Speed? Hold on, let me look. Yep, yep, AX Speed, Metal Complete Gearbox Transmission. So, um, appreciate all your viewerships, and make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Yeah, comment down below. Overdrive, if you made it to the end of the video. This was a short one. <laughs> short, short for us. All right, take care, guys. Get out there, build something awesome. Crash and smash and bash them, and don't break the expensive parts.